Well, everybody, I've set up the unboxing table inside my Commodore computer room. Uh, remember, this Commodore computer room is only uh, 2.3 meters by 3 meters, and uh, I had to have the unboxing area so I could at least find out what's been sent to me. So I set up this table system between the two cabinets. Man, it was a pain in the neck. So I'm going to have to work out a better system. Uh, yeah, it was pretty difficult. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I've got an unboxing video today. I've got one, two, three, four boxes here. So we'll have a look and uh, see what's been sent. That's it. Whoa. Okay, first box. This is from uh, C. Hawthorne. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. No, it's not four. Well, first of all, this is obviously a power supply. This looks like they're a bit twinny. It's definitely well packed. Okay, as we anticipated, it's a power supply. Okay. Oh, interesting. This one, so that's one of the early VIC 20 power supplies. So, gives us an idea what will be in these boxes. Actually, you can tell straight away, can't you? Alright, so I'll move this to the side. That might be easier. Oops. Okay. Right, so here we've got a VIC 20. Pretty standard. Ooh, quite early serial number. 71014. Uh, Another VIC 20. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so it's definitely another bit 20. I just realized, oh, shall I do the serial number on this one? It's uh, 136612. So two the 20s, but a different style sticker on, I'll get this balanced right, a different style sticker on each one. Ah. Okay, so that makes it quite interesting. Oh, the serial number on this one. Interesting is five three nine eight one four. So I'm guessing that this bottom part of the case may be older than the top half of the case because up top here we have the early style the 20 badge and the pet style keys. So within that box we have three different styles, three different slight variations of the Vic 20. Mainly the, the stickers and also the PowerPoint as well. There's the two plug and the standard plug that we see on the Big 20s and the Commodore 64. And this one here should have the two plug. Slightly different again. So here we go. Just set those up. Each one has a slight variant of the power plug. The Stickers on each one is slightly different, and the keys on this one here, Commodore Pet style keys. All right, the next box. I don't think it's bare. Actually, I'll just go to this PowerPoint. Don't know where this one came from, actually. See what button here. Okay. One bread box. And okay, so in this box here we've got two bread boxes. Uh, the whew, serial number on this one is 1844222. X meaning it probably doesn't work. <laughs> Another X. Well, let's check these out. Ooh. Definitely an issue there. 
and the serial number 22, oh sorry, sorry, 299939. Uh, made in Germany and this one's made in England. Actually, slight different size. You can see slight different height of the between the two slight different height between the two Commodore 64s. And um, I think for memory, for this one here, that the case for the C64 is actually based on this, this one here, for memory. Okay, so both these presumably do not work. So what we'll do is um, on a very, well, I'll try and make my next video actually. I've been doing a lot of repairs, but not actually uh, recording them. So. We'll check these both out on my next video to see which one to see what's wrong with. It's a beast. Okay. Two from this is from Mike. So there's a mission how to get into these. Far and wreck what's ever, whatever's in here. Okay, seems to be a joy there. Right. I, haven't seen, I haven't seen someone tie up a box with this twine for uh, many years. My grandfather used to tie all the boxes up with this in twine. He used to live on a farm, so I'm guessing this might come from. Oh, here you go, found a joint. I come from someone who lives on a farm. Right. So tall, it doesn't even fit in through the screen. Actually, I just realised uh, my head doesn't fit in the screen either. I should fix that up, but maybe I should just crouch. Yeah, I'll just crouch. We'll just do some crouching. Hey! Alright. So I might just have a break and I'll show you. So, aha, I know this is. Okay, all right, awesome, awesome, awesome. This is Whew, so tall, it doesn't fit in. This is a Commodore 64 Pro Pack. At least, it's pretty much everything you needed from Commodore 64 to get, get set up straight away. Handles. I think what's happened is that they've taped on there. Oh. Okay, here we have the course. What's happened is the uh, chemicals inside the power cables have melted into the polystyrene, quite common. That's why you should never wrap power cables around your Commodore 64 because eventually it will eat through the plastic. Oh, I can't believe this. Ooh. <laughs> just what I thought. But this, wow, this is a beautiful condition. I'll just take out the plastic wrapper and uh, then I'll turn it over. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how yellow this is from the screen. It is really, really yellow. So I'll just turn it around so you get an idea. Probably the original colour. And yeah. so there's, there's a mixture of things in here. The uh, joystick. Ooh, 
for some good use. The, oh, look at that, it's got the 15412 manual, some documentation. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that sort of gives away what's in the next box. It's a 1802 monitor. Actually, 1802. I don't actually have. I don't have another 1802 color monitor yet. So. Okay. And then there's the 15412. Very yellow as well. We'll test it out later on to see if make sure it all, all works. Alright, I'm just gonna have to move all these things around and I'll be back in two seconds. Then one box the last box. <sighs> okay, so the camera just stops a bit bit. Oh, wow. Okay, yep, so I was right. Oh, it's starting to know. 